Sanjuji, the point that the Congress party has been making is that um, all of this is interconnected, that this is all a part of silencing Rahul Gandhi, not letting him say what he has to say, uh, and thereby targeting the opposition, in this case, the Congress. How would you respond? Uh, Vishnu, thanks uh, you know, uh, for having me on your show for what's been a very, very uh, prolonged and long gap. Yes, uh, it's I been just... far too long. Glad to have you back, <laughs> but do, do go ahead. Yes, it's been far too long. Uh, you know, uh, coming to the moot point, uh, you know, without beating around the bush, let me just say this, that uh, in 2019, uh, Patna High Court uh, gave Rahul Gandhi a clean chit and the case was this very case for which the Supreme, uh, for which uh, the uh, Surat District Court has convicted him. And at that time, the Patna High Court, uh, while giving Rahul Gandhi a clean chit, uh, said, do you wish to express remorse or regret? And Rahul Gandhi... Uh, which is typical, uh, his style of being audaciously arrogant. He refused to express any form of regret, remorse, uh, much less giving out an unconditional apology. Now, uh, you know, uh, things have come back to haunt him and bite him. Contrary to the Patna High Court judgment, the Surat District Court very categorically uh, found that the charges pertaining to criminal defamation under section 499 and 500 of the IPC are bona fide and stand ground and how. And my simple question is this, that why is Rahul Gandhi sulking, whining, ranting, crying on national television? He has four alternatives, Vishnu. He can go for an appeal to the Sessions Court in Gujarat. He can file a SLP with the Supreme Court. He can, under Article 32 of the Constitution, go to the Supreme Court and claim that his rights are being undermined, which is what the Congress leadership has been peddling in the last 24 hours in any case. Or he has the fourth alternative of knocking on the doors of the President of India and asking that the judgment be overturned.